Hey, good morning, guys. Touch coming back at you. It's Friday morning, May the 30th, and we're about 7 o'clock in the morning. We're getting an early start today. guess we're excited. Anyway, um, just taking a look at the underside of the uh, hood this morning. It looks good. Um, just unmasking. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to paint the top side and these bottom edges. That's one of the challenges I have is trying to figure out where I want to mask this off um, so as not to get sort of a clear line so I figured what I'll do is I'll just tape on the inside of here and then we'll spray up from the bottom just to make sure I get this covered so and I've also taped it along here just on this seam so I figured that would be a good area to sort of stop as far as the tape is concerned and then we'll paint to here and, and clear to there and we'll tape off the back side of this edge so hopefully that works out okay like I said it's a challenge for me to figure out you know how I'm gonna do this sometimes I guess I'll figure it out eventually with some practice. Anyway, um, so that's what we're planning on doing today. We'll get the uh, top side sanded back down to 600 grit, just a, a quick pass over. Um, I've got the, um, the trunk lid, uh, the boot lid um, over here as well. I think we may try to paint that at the same time just to get uh, kill two birds with one stone as they say. Um, so that's the plan for today and we'll take you along during the day. Talk to you later guys. Well I found something I hate more than sanding and that's taping. Man that sucks. Oh well. She's done. We'll flip her over. We'll get sanded and we'll get to putting the top coat on. Okay guys we're ready to go on uh, base coat. Coat number one on the hood. Bonnet. Whatever you want to call it. I uh, decided to go against uh, trying to paint the uh, the trunk lid at the same time. I figured I'd better concentrate on one piece at a time. No sense being in a hurry. This has got to be done right. So I think we're ready to go. It's all uh, tack cloth off. Got the fan set up. Got the floor wetted down, and we're good to go. We'll talk to you later. Hey guys, Tush coming back at you. That's about 20 to one, and uh, the hood's done almost uh, dry it looks pretty good I'm uh, pretty happy with it no uh, runs that I can see no sags in the clear little dust bunny a little bit of dirt in it but not too bad overall I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with it there will be some sanding required yeah, that one looks okay. I was really concerned about uh, you know these edges and everything sort of flowing off, especially when you get to the clear. So I know when I sprayed primer initially on this hood, I was having problems with the primer kind of running off the edge. I guess I was coating it too too thickly. Anyway, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a little while longer before I attempt to move it. I would like to let it dry for another couple hours and then maybe get it out of the garage outside in the sun so I can get in the garage and work on something else. But uh, yeah, all in all, it looks pretty good. So there's the first uh, complete panel painted for the TR3A, so a bit of a milestone. And it looks not bad. All right, guys, we'll come back later. All right, guys, we moved to uh, outdoors. Uh, since the hood's drying in the garage, we, wanna, we don't want to disturb that for another couple hours. So. I brought the trunk lid back outside, uh, just outside the garage doors. And some of you may recall from last year, this was kind of my first attempt at painting and it was a bit of a screw up, but as I had uh, paint pulling away actually in the edges here. So what I've done is I've done a repair section um, and pri reprimed it. So what I need to do now is I need to sand this back down, this area back down. Plus I also need to sand the base coat for what I painted before down to 400 grit. So. What we're going to plan to do is uh, work on this area today, see if we can get that ready for paint, and then maybe later this afternoon we'll be able to get it inside the garage. All right, guys, we'll talk to you in a bit. Don't know how well this is going to show up, but just a little shot of it outside. We moved it outside into the sun for a couple hours. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Don't see any major problems. Okay guys, quick update. It's about uh, quarter to four and we've got the trunk lid 
uh, sand it down on the bottom. We got the top taped off. We got our wipe down with wax and grease remover, so I think we're about ready to uh, spray another panel. So, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the, um, the hood around to the side of the house so I can put the fans back out the front and not worry about blowing crap on top of the freshly painted hood. So uh, I think that's what we'll do, and then we'll get down to uh, spraying this one. This should be a fairly quick and easy one, I would think, although it proved to be a little difficult the last time I tried it, so I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be talking. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Hey guys, just coming up to about uh, quarter to eight on Friday night, and uh, the inside of the trunk lid is uh, painted and clear coated. Two coats of clear coat on the inside. I did two coats of clear coat on the inside of the hood as well. So this is just uh, almost getting to be dry. Uh, turned out pretty good again. A few little speckles of dirt here and there, but nothing too bad, nothing crazy. I don't see any huge runs or anything like that and that issue I had with the uh, the paint before uh, is now resolved so everything's good so I think what we'll do is we'll let this dry overnight we'll flip it over we'll do the top side tomorrow morning and maybe we'll drag the doors out here uh, tomorrow and do them as well it's too bad this uh, doesn't dry a little bit more quickly I could get more done during the day uh, just had a bug <laughs> there we go anyway Get, probably get more done during the day if this dried a little bit more quickly. Um, it's only about 68 degrees in the garage, so it's not uh, overly warm. So it does take a little while for this to dry. Anyway, that's about it for tonight, guys. I'll upload this and we'll get out here tomorrow. Talk to you later.